If you watched our overrated truck video, we promise to make another one with a list of underrated models. And here they are, these pickups will often go under the radar because of the hype created around other vehicles. Number 1, Toyota Tundra. We kick off with the Tundra, which has an army of fans. However, if you compare its sales to the class-leading models, Ram 1500, Silverado 1500, and especially the F-150, there is no way these vehicles are so much better. Perhaps it is due to Toyota's different and experimental approach. The Tundra is breaking some conventions that were once considered carved in stone for the half-ton truck segment. It has always been a double-edged sword since its debut. For the current edition, you'll find three engine configurations, none of which are based on V8 engine. Instead, Toyota is trying to maximize efficiency, and a turbocharged V6 engine has done a great job. The new Tundra can offer 20 miles per gallon combined, a significant boost from the 17 miles per gallon achieved by the previous generation. A hybrid system helps, not only in this segment but also in terms of towing capacity. The Tundra can haul up to 12,000 pounds, an improvement over the previous generation, although it still trails behind class leaders. Toyota makes up for this with numerous upgrade options. If you are a fan of off-road driving, the TRD Pro model is probably the best configuration you can find for a truck. For serious overlanding, the company launched a new trim, Trail Hunter. One downside is the lack of a full-time four-wheel drive, but the drive modes will cover most of the terrains you'll challenge the Tundra with. Number 2. Jeep Gladiator. Expectations are high for the upcoming redesign of the 2025 Jeep Gladiator. The truck somehow failed to deliver something special that would differentiate it from the Wrangler. Despite carrying over SUV's performance and capacity, it was considered an overall failure. The new truck promises to be quite special. We expect to see a performance version, though not with V8 engine as many enthusiasts hoped. Instead, the company has built a new inline six twin turbo engine with the potential to deliver 540 horsepower. The midsize pickup will likely feature a lighter configuration with 420 horsepower and 470 pound feet of torque. What makes this pickup so special is its versatility. Off roading remains its strongest point, thanks to the Rubicon and Mojave trim levels. However, the Gladiator is also suitable for daily jobs. V6 and Turbo 4 engines offer similar performance, but it is nice to have both options available. A manual transmission is available for the larger unit. In 2025, we also expect the 4XE plug-in hybrid with 375 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. There won't be many changes to the exterior. The boxy silhouette, 7-slot grille, and round headlights are iconic features of the Wrangler SUV, and this styling language is carried over to the truck. Inside, significant updates mean more space for passengers, a larger infotainment system, and more driver aid features. Number 3. Nissan Frontier The Frontier is finally having a breakthrough season, and it seems like truckers are finally recognizing its skills and performance. Nissan keeps it simple, the pickup is powered by V6 engine with no turbo or hybrid options. The 3.8-liter unit produces 310 horsepower and 281 pound-feet of torque, using a 9-speed automatic transmission that sends power to the rear wheels by default or to all wheels upon the buyer's request. It's the textbook definition of a truck. People may also overlook its off-road capabilities. If the Frontier is underrated, then the Pro4X is even more so in this realm. The company has equipped it with Bill's tine shocks, additional skid plates, and a special off-road surround view camera. Compared to models considered class leaders, the Frontier Pro 4X is not lagging behind. For the 2025 season, no major changes are expected. The truck was updated in 2022, so only minor modifications are anticipated. The regular cab is not making a comeback, you can choose between the King Cab and Crew Cab. Besides the 4X and Pro 4X off-road specialists, you can also choose from S, SV, and SL trims. The base price starts as low as $31,000. In the future, we expect some kind of hybrid engine under the hood of this mid-sized truck. However, for now, the company's focus is on the larger Titan and its redesign. Number 4. Ram 1500. The Ram 1500 sells well and sets some standards in the trucking world, but the market remains divided between Ford and GM fans. Soon, it will be a significant competitor to the Ford F-150. The Stellantis Group has already taken some steps, such as introducing the TRX Performance truck, intended to be a Raptor killer. 
It could have been, if Ford hadn't responded with the Raptor R. Expect another wave of competition soon, as the 2025 Ram 1500 will be completely redesigned. It will feature a fresh look, new features, more packages, and, most importantly, a new engine. V8 will no longer be available. Instead, a twin-turbo inline-six will deliver 420 to 540 horsepower, depending on the configuration. Additionally, the smaller engine block will improve gas mileage. The upcoming pickup will still offer an 8.4-inch screen in its base versions, with 12 and 14.5-inch screens also available. The Uconnect infotainment system has been recently updated and is more intuitive than ever. Packages have been revised as well. It all starts with the Tradesman model. The Rebel is an off-road package, but the highlight is the all-new Tungsten Edition. Some exclusive options the premium truck will offer include 22-inch alloy wheels, quilted leather upholstery with a sea salt gray and indigo color scheme, a 23-speaker Klipsch audio system, and diamond knurled dual-texture metal accents. The TRX is unlikely to return with the Hellcat engine, as its production has ceased. The package might feature another powertrain, but it is hard to replace 702 horsepower under the hood. Instead, the company is turning to an all-electric pickup. This might not be everyone's favorite, and some have labeled it as overrated, but the Ram 1500 Rev electric truck deserves mention. Number 5. GMC Canyon. The mid-sized GMC Canyon often finds itself in the shadow of its more popular sibling, the Chevrolet Colorado. However, these trucks are essentially the same, with the Canyon offering additional features. For example, it includes the off-road AT4 and premium Denali packages. If you want even more, the AT4X and Denali Ultimate packages add features that make the offer even more exciting. Well, a unique ride brings a higher price. The GMC Canyon offers a new 2.7-liter turbo 4 engine that produces 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. While a diesel option is no longer available, this new engine replaces it as the best hauler in the mid-sized truck segment, boasting a towing capacity of 7,700 pounds. An 8-speed transmission sends power to the rear wheels, though a four-wheel drive is recommended for extra traction. The 0 to 60 acceleration is impressive, stopping the clock around 6 seconds. For comparison, the new Toyota Tacoma, a best-seller in this segment, needs more than 7 seconds. The GMC Canyon is an upscale truck. It costs more than its competitors but also offers more. For example, the company doesn't offer a lighter setup of the same engine as it does for the Colorado. The base price starts at $38,000 for the elevation model. From there, you can choose the off-road specialist AT4 for $45,000, its beefed-up version AT4X for an additional $10,000, the premium Denali package priced at $53,000, or the latest addition to the lineup, the Denali Ultimate, which turns the canyon into a luxury vehicle.